go on. Luke Goody in the starting lineup in place of Shannon as the 11th ranked Illini finish out the non-conference portion of their schedule hosting Fairleigh Dickinson. The Knights knocked off Purdue in the first round of the NCAA tournament last season. And Illinois immediately out to a good start. Defense leaves Quincy Guerrier all alone. He knocks down the three to continue his heater from beyond the arc. It was 12-7 when the Illini beat the press. So important against FDU. Ty Rogers threads a needle to Coleman Hawkins to Dane Danger under the rim. Then Justin Harmon with the steal to the 180 fast break. Going the other way to a streaking Marcus Domask up and under. Difficult finish for him. And the Illini continue to extend that advantage up to double digits. Didn't get the start, but Danger getting lots of first half action. Rogers feeds him down low. 13 in the first half for him. Season high for him on the game. Good defense by the night. Sean Moore with the steal. Then the pass to Joe Munden Jr. Finishes through contact as they get it back down to within single digits late in the first half. But more bench players stepping up. The Illini go on an absolutely huge run. Justin Harmon catching fire. He hits a three from the wing. Goes for 14 straight points to put Illinois up 23. Illinois makes a season high 13 threes. Then more from Ty Rogers in the second. How about they finish it off with the oop? Quincy Garrier there. And Illinois goes on to win this one big. First time scoring 100 plus points in two years for the Illini. 104. 71 the final Illinois improves to 10 and 2 on the season now the most wins before the turn of the calendar since the 2017 18 season let's go right back out to State Farm Center where WCI 3 is 80 Wilson 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 Wilson. Wilson. a lot different look for the Illini tonight but they really diversify the scoring here six Illini in double figures Andy Brett, you are correct. I think the biggest question basketball-wise coming into tonight is what exactly things would look like without the Illini's top score, their top three-point percentage, get her in their top minute-per-game guy in Terrence Shannon Jr. All they did instead, like you said, was score their most points of the season, most points in two games. And it wasn't just the starting lineup replacement, Luke Goody, into the starting lineup for Terrence Shannon. Instead, it all came off the bench. Dane Danger, a career high at 19 points. Justin Harmon, 18 of his own. And like you said, 14 of them coming in straight fashion at the end of the first half. And then Coleman Hawkins stepping up as well in that starting lineup. 18 points for him. Five of eight from the three-point arc. And I think, Brett, everyone has been waiting this season to see Coleman heat up from beyond the arc. And uh, it was perfect timing for Illinois as they had the chance to score a lot against this FDU team, and they definitely took it. Andy, what was your sense from the players there? You were courtside for the game without their leader, Terrence Shannon Jr., not in the building, suspended from all team activities. How did you feel like the Illini responded without him there tonight? <laughs> I think Brad Underwood put it best as he said on the radio pregame is that they have the next man up mentality going into this. They know that they're going to be without Shannon for the foreseeable future. The guys that are on the team need to be able to find ways to score, need to be able to find ways to just get wins because this is the non-conference finale, Brett. Now things take a step up as they get into the Big Ten Northwestern next week, followed by going to number one Purdue. The schedule does not get very easy but being able to find ways to win. I think that's what the team is most focused on. And, of course, tonight it was three-pointers and it was offense. We'll see what it is when Big Ten play comes, Brett. All right, Andy, thanks so much. Season high 13 three-pointers for the Illini tonight in the win. We will stream Brad Underwood's post-game press conference coming up here live on our digital channels momentarily. Let's